Oh, hey, how you doing today? So welcome back. Today, uh, we're essentially doing the follow-up, the second part to the Southern European black metal video. How you doing today? So welcome back. Today, uh, we're essentially doing the follow-up, the second part to the Southern European black metal video that I did a couple weeks ago. I'm not sure how these are being released, but this should be released a couple weeks after the uh, Southern European version. This video will exclusively cover black metal bands from the 80s and 90s from Greece. The reason I'm separating it from the other Southern European black metal list is because uh, Greece had just far too many good bands. They would have dominated the list. It wouldn't have been fair. It wouldn't have been a good representation of the rest of the uh, that portion of the continent. Um, and I was thinking going forward, I'm probably going to have several more of these one-off countries uh, or just regions. Uh, for example, like the Baltic states, uh, maybe the British Isles. Uh, I'm sure uh, the low the low countries. Uh, a few more like that. They're not all going to be uh, larger regions and, and no more continents. I, I believe I've got past that. Oh, Australia. We'll be doing Australia. Something I want to note as I've been going through my list of Greek bands, uh, refining the list a little bit, uh, and I added a couple more that had uh, passed me by somehow. I got over 60, uh, 60 black metal bands from the 80s and 90s from Greece who released at, le at least one demo, EP, album, anything of that sort. I'm going to give you a top six list uh, and of course followed by a bonus. Uh, the A and B, or a and B tier stuff that just, just didn't make it, almost made it. Something I noticed uh, oddly when going through these bands is the prevalence of brothers. Uh, there's Rotting Christ, uh, Zemiel, Zemiel. Uh, there's brothers in uh, as far back as Flames and uh, Fiendish Nymph. And so I was thinking, I haven't gone on a trip. I haven't taken you guys anywhere since that disastrous time we spent in Asia. So we're going to learn some lessons from that. We're going to head over to the Greek Isles. I've never been to Greece. Uh, my mom went when I was a kid uh, with her friend, and uh, I wish I could have gone. But you know what? Well, let's take the advantage and, and, and go see it now. Oh, you know, it, it's actually pretty warm there. I better get a hat. All right. Uh, and as we go to Greece, I I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the history of the country from ancient times up to current day. Come with me. The nation of Greece consists of the southern end of the Balkan Peninsula and about 6,000 islands scattered in the, the Mediterranean, the Aegean, and the Ionian. It's currently most known for its vast beaches as a vacation getaway but also for its political instability. In ancient time, the Minoans on Crete influenced the Mycenaeans who founded the ancient Greek classical civilization. This evolved into the Hellenic culture whose advancements created the basics of what we call Western civilization, other known, otherwise known as the Occident. The various city-states hosted the Olympic Games with participants as far north as Macedonia. Were they part of ancient Greece? These various city-states at times banded together, for example, to stop Persia. But there was also a lot of infighting, for example, the Peloponnesian Wars. Later, Alexander the Great, under a united Greece, with great armies, was able to conquer Persia. After the Battle of Corinth, Rome ascended and Greece fell. It's been a place of much turmoil since, within Greece and without, with their many neighbors. And for whatever reason, the conditions were ripe to develop a very unique black metal scene.
We're going to cover that unique black metal scene with six entries. The first of which I would say is Agatus, Agatus uh, their album from 1996, Dawn of Martyrdom. It uh, acts as a great combination of both the Hellenic and the Scandinavian styles. At number five, I would go with Legion of Doom. This is Kingdom of Endless Darkness. This is another example which really doesn't fit the Hellenic category in sound, but uh, it is really amazing. This one has more of a Eastern European feel to it, uh, what you find in, in Poland and Ukraine often. The atmosphere which is created is immense and really adds to this release. It, it, it demonstrates the rich diversity of, of sound coming from Greece by having a band which replicates that Eastern European sound so well, and, and I would say even better than, than many of their brethren, their Slavic brethren up, up north there. The art used on this album, you may note, is by uh, Gustave Doré. They're actually from Woodprints, believe it or not, which makes them even more impressive. You've probably seen them elsewhere. It's, uh, it's shown on, for example, Emperor used some of his art, Dimma Borgir, Agalak, Time Ghoul, Season of Evil, if you've heard of them. A uh, few others, I, I know I saw it in a lot of hardcore releases, I wanna say in the 90s also. Four is the most infamous band from the country, the most well-known. They've been at it since the 80s. They've changed their style definitely over the years. And actually, I would say they've improved their style, which is rare for me to say. Uh, of course, I'm referring to Rotting Christ. The album I would recommend you go with is Non Servium, the predominantly or exclusively black metal, as their roots were more in the uh, realm of grindcore. Uh, this is their best early album. This one is from 94. It's, the sound is especially spooky to me. This is really the Hellenic sound. This is that warm black metal, but definitely their own thing. Uh, Greek black metal is its own thing unto itself. Check it out. Halfway through this list, we're at number three with Septic Flesh, Mystic Places of Dawn. You can even hear influences from the Near East in this album. It's a, a prime example of what I would call that warm black metal that Southern Europe was known for, especially Greece. This is a perfect example of, of that warm black metal. I want to say maybe nothing else would usurp it? I, I would say this is the apex of, of the Hellenic sound from, from 94. A very important year in, in, in Greece in, in their black metal scene, as you might note from some of these releases.
And then second place, one more to go. We have Zemiel, Zemiel. This is a, a, a band put together by the, the Globetrotting Brothers, who you've also made note are in Agatis, Agatis, uh, the, the initial band I mentioned in this list. This is more primitive thrash oriented black metal. This came out in 96, and the sound doesn't really remind me of the typical Hellenic sound at all, but I dig this rawness and it's often very catchy riffs. Look for it. And then number one, my all-time favorite, 80s and 90s Greek black metal release put out by Necromantia, Scarlet Evil, Witching Black. This is vastly different than the previous entry, entry number two, as uh, this, this one might be my favorite of all the Hellenic sound. I might take that back. It's definitely number one for black metal sound overall coming from Greece, but it may typify the, the Hellenic sound for me as well. Uh, I would recommend uh, give this a listen and, and tell me what you think. Uh, it's, it's ghoulish, symphonic, occultic, doomy, heavy metal mixed in with the black metal. This, this is really interesting stuff. And if you're going to go with any necromancia, this is the one you want to check out. And so while that is my top six, I'm not going to go without offering you a bonus. And these bonus bands are, are pretty darn good themselves, often better than anything that was coming out of many other countries at the same time. Even the lower level, the A and B tier stuff, it usurps that coming out of, of most other countries. That's how quite high quality Greece was at, at this time. Uh, I, I started with the list of over 60 bands which had played black metal from Greece in the 80s and 90s and released a, at least one example of their sound, yeah. whether a, a demo, an EP, an LP, it doesn't matter. Uh, as long as they release something in physical format that I can review, uh, that, those are my choices. So I'm gonna go over uh, 15 more that, that I, I want to uh, bring to your attention after you've gone through my top six and, and you want some more of that sound. I'm going to put the list uh, on the, the screen here, but prior to me doing so, let me uh, let me go over a few of these. Let, let me look at the list. Hold on, let me look at the list and I'll give you my thoughts on some. How does that sound? So let's see what we got here. I'm going to go over some of the early stuff, the, the first stuff, the stuff from the 80s. Uh, I would say Asphyx, uh, Flames. Sadistic noise done in the Brazilian style. It's a very primitive death metal influenced one. Aspects, the spirit of the dead, that's another very primitive one. Very catchy hooks, but the production's kind of thin. But out of the unholy trinity of the 80s, black metal from Greece, go with flames as, as the best. Merciless Slaughter from 1986. This is done much more professionally than the other two that I just mentioned. And it has an array of influences 
from speed, thrash, even some blues rock. This is totally first wave black metal when it was more fun. Uh, it sounds more Italian than anything. In, in that, I mean, from the era of Bulldozer, Schizo, the bands like that. Uh, also, the cover art is amazing and, and is up there with Mortuary Drape as some of the most haunting and horrifying images from an album cover that I ever saw as a child that, that, that just stuck in my head. Whoa, what is that? Great example of such. See, another good one on here is Divisor with their unspeakable cults. That almost made the list in play. Uh, Diabolos, Diabolos Rising. Uh, blood vampirism and sadism. This has a member of Impaled Nazarene with a dude with necromantia. It's put out by Osmos or, or one of their sub-labels, something like that. And I gotta tell you, this is uh, industrial. It's very weird, dark waves influences and stuff. It, uh, I think it was released as a video actually, but the, uh, the soundtrack is the CD that it, you get with it. It was kind of strange. It was a yellow case. The, the one they got before that, I remember, my brother and I got, it was shaped weird. I think they call it A9 size. Uh, very odd stuff. Uh, Kronos was on this, which is cool. He was not only in the song, but in the video, which is uh, a nice pull, pretty good. Uh, Nair Matron, Up From The Ashes. Uh, interestingly, the, the bass player is a, a former member of uh, the Greek parliament. And I do mean former. He got in a bit of trouble. Uh, Vorphalak, Under the Sign of the Dragon. That's another one that almost made it. Uh, Nightfall, Parade into Centuries. Another very good one that almost made it. Thou Art Lord with uh, Erephos, Erephos. That one almost made it. But you may notice there is a certain famous band. You won't see in the list either. I didn't mention it here. I've tried to enjoy Varathon several times over the years. I've, I've given a shot two or three times, different parts of their catalog. I think the last CD of theirs I held on to, something about a swamp, His Majesty in the Swamp, something. Whoever attempts to enter the swamp, they get by the quick hand. He calls Rangers out of my swamp. Something like that. I ended up selling it a few years ago. Uh, I tried. Not the biggest fan. Don't know why. Um, I don't know. I haven't looked back since. I, I found a lot of other good Greek black metal, as you can tell. And I highly recommend that you, uh, you go ahead and you find some also. If there's any bands that I, I missed, you think I should have listed, please add that in the compliments right in. I want to hear that stuff. But if there's anything that's like, that's not black metal, I'm sorry. We, uh, it's a bit of a fluid definition. Uh, the, the the borders are a little gray. I'm sorry if I included some things that aren't black enough for you, but these are the albums that I believe define black metal, and I want to share with the world my favorites, the best. Well, it is uh, uh, mighty hot out here. I got a bit of a sweat. It is uh, a nice beach. So I think I'm gonna take off my trousers and go for a swim. See ya. Warm day, but Getting a lot of good exercise. Very glad I came, but not finding what I'm looking for. What do we got here? What is that? Holy heck! Ah! Ah! 